Tell me, what are you currently reading? So I just read uh, The Eagle is Landed, which is a classic World War II thriller with Nazis and invading it. England. And um, oh man, I just loved it. Is there any book that you can think of that you wish you had written? Many Agatha Christie books. I just think she was so clever. She was so amazing with plots. I always wish I had read them. Um, this is very bad for my scary image, but I'm a big P.G. Woodhouse fan. I love all those funny books, and I would love to be able to write like that, to write funny stuff with such ease and such beautiful language. He's a real hero of mine. Rosemary's Baby, all the Ira Levin uh, thrillers are incredible. A Kiss Before Dying is a wonderful book, an amazing thriller, um, very tense. And um, but I like all the Harlan Coben books. I, I think he's filled with surprises, Harlan. What's your favorite children's book? My favorite children's book was Pinocchio, the original Pinocchio. When I was like a little tiny kid, maybe three years old or four, and had to take a nap in the afternoon, my mother would read a chapter before my nap every day of the original Pinocchio. And I'm this little kid in the original Pinocchio is really violent. It's a really violent book. There's one place where Pinocchio takes a big wooden mallet and he smashes Jiminy Cricket. He crushes him against the wall. And I'm this kid. I don't kid. think that's a Disney version. No, it's not in there. <laughs> and then Pinocchio falls asleep with his feet on the stove and burns his feet off. <laughs> And I, I remember this from when I was three years old. So in other I mean, words, this you is, were traumatized at three yeah, years old I, by Pinocchio. Yeah, this is why I write these horrifying stories about puppets and dummies and things. See, reading being, is important. <laughs> yes, reading is very important. She terrified me. And um, so I, I guess Pinocchio would be one of my favorites. For me, what makes a book great is surprises. You can't, you don't know from the very beginning. You can't predict everything that's going to happen. For me, a really good book is something that really shocks me and turns around halfway through, and you don't know where it's going. I try to do that in all my Goosebumps books. The best compliment I get, is I just got here at BEA, from every person in line at the book signing, you come and say, um, I, you turned me into a reader, or my son never read until he discovered your books, or I caught my kid reading under the covers at midnight last night with a flashlight. Or, um, your books are the only ones my kids in school will read. They're reluctant, you know, that's the best compliment I get. That's just, I never get tired of hearing that.